All right, so out in the goat house, my feeders are stationary. They're like hooked to the wall. So, um, they're goats. Those babies especially get up in them, like to stand cause, and play, and they poop in them. And with this rain we've had the last few days and everything's just so moist, there's a moisture in the air, I can't get it cleaned out. So I'm gonna start feeding them outside in a feeder that I can move around. So I looked online, those feed little things that hang, the little feed buckets that hang on the fence are actually sort of expensive when you need, they're not big enough to feed two in. Not when you've got goats that fight each other. So. I don't want to go order six of those. That's just too much. So what I did was come out and I found that two by six. I would have been happy with a one by six, but I didn't have one. But I had a two by six that's uh, 64 inches long. And then I had the scraps of one by fours that I used on the sides. And I got them and then I've got those two legs. And now I need, I want treated. I'm gonna have to dig around for something treated I have anything treated in this house, but those legs will have to have a cross brace on bottom that actually makes it stand up, freestand. So I'm going to start digging around for something treated. I just need a scrap piece of treated two by four, long enough to make a couple of uh, like horizontal legs on the bottom to make it stand. So I'm gonna dig around for that. Let me see if I can find one real quick. Let's see, just give me one second. All right, so I just came out of my, where I keep my extra lumber. I, this, this is so filled with stuff. This is my workshop, look at that. I've got a table that, I, that was like a desk I built myself and then I gave it to Bree and then she didn't need it anymore. She had like her Cricut and her lemon, uh, what's that, that vinyl machine that cuts vinyl. She had all that on there. She didn't need it anymore. So I have it back in here. I don't really need it anywhere. So I'm probably gonna take it all apart and just use it for parts when I need things. I've got a mattress, uh, like a crib mattress and a toddler bed that I'm going to give to my grandson, Tony's son. Now, Tony and Nicole are not together, but um, she's trying to find her a new house, a new home, her and her mother uh, together, and then their little boy, my grandson, Jace. And when they get him a ring, because he's just turned two. So I'll give her that bed. That was Brinley's bed. And dad brought it down here from jake's and instead of putting it in my little camper house he put it in here so i've got to get that out of there i gotta get that box from my old tool from my new tools i got for christmas out of there i've got a bucket of plumbing i still have a plumbing project i gotta do in my backyard and then put that up where it goes and then clean my shed because i can't hardly even get in here because i've just got stuff look at that old fan that's disgusting but it is a workshop so anyway, I'm gonna get these legs put on here. Um, I can sort of show you a little bit how it'll be. So these two by fours will be the actual leg and they'll go down the side like that. I'll pick this up and it'll be attached. Oh my gosh, that's heavy. It's gonna be attached like right there, even with the top. And then this will be the leg at the bottom will be screwed on like that and that'll keep it from tumping. So I found those two scrap pieces. They're not the same length, but you know, it's goats. I don't think they're gonna measure it. So I'm gonna put these together real quick. And it's heavy as heck with that two by, uh, that's a two by eight, not a two by, it's not even a two by six, two by eight in there at the bottom. It makes it very heavy. And then all these other little pieces. But I should be able to just pour feed in that trough. It'll be on the outside of their house. So if it rains or whatever, I just turn it over and dump it, stand it back up and put their food in. That's my plan. So I'm gonna get this finished and carry it out there. And then I'll pour some feed in it. Y'all can see I'm eating. All right, I'll be right back. 
So, here they are. It's plenty big enough for all of them. They can eat on both sides, like Frodo and Bilbo. Sam will end up over there. I did throw a little bit in there. That was cute. He come around to this side. Is that good, guys? Is their, their little goat house, I'll show y'all this figure. It is so nasty, what they've been doing in there. Let me close this door. <laughs> Ducks, just give me one minute. And Mary's like, let me get to one of the sides. I'm going to show y'all this feeders. It might be hard to see. And it's it's a little windy and a little drier today, but that was horrible nasty yesterday. And look at this one. Every day I would scrape that out. I had a scraper up at there. Oops. I had a scraper when the little ones were in that little or even Frodo and Bilbo when they were in the first little house up by the house. But when I come out here, I had this little piece of wood. See what I have to do? And it is so thick and it's nasty. And it, it's this one, this one's still wet. It's just disgusting. So now they're going to, uh, and that's a long one too. And it had legs, but the cross braces, the like the feet had broke off. I could have put feet on it, but I didn't even want to dig in that poop trying to find the, find the screws. It's just disgusting. And they broke that one standing in it. I gotta take it down. But this should work. This is gonna work good. I'll dump their feed right there and they can just eat right out of there. Sam, you done ate it all. You're gonna have to go back and eat with the goats. There you go. Good boy. Y'all are going to have to learn to share, guys. Everybody eat together. Bilbo, you got to learn to share. Frodo, you too. Y'all got to learn to share. Frodo and Bilbo and Sam's not very interested in sweets. Frodo! Sam's like, well, they didn't run me off, Mom. I'm scared to get in here. Sam and the little ones get to get along. Frodo and Bilbo don't care for Sam. But he was raised up with these three babies. So they don't bother him. But when I was going up Mama's driveway to check on her earlier, I'd taken Levi by the donut shop. And uh, he got him a kolache. And I got us six donut holes to share but he didn't want them and I, I only ate two so when I pulled up and they were all out in that field that field right over that that field right there and they were they were on this fence line but I pulled up and stopped in mom's driveway over there and called them and they all ran to the fence and I uh broke those donut holes in little pieces and they mostly it was Frodo, Bilbo, and the, the three babies. Sam didn't really care about the sweet. Are they running y'all off? Poor babies. Poor babies are running you off. Me no big boy. Bilbo, stop. I'll give them a little bit more so they can have. Frodo. I may have to feed Frodo and Bilbo in there in a bucket or something to let these babies have a full meal. Y'all are not sweet. Don't look at me. Bilbo, you're not being sweet. You or Frodo, either one. You're not going to get animal crackers when I'm done if you don't be sweet. Frodo! All right, let me get them some animal crackers, and then maybe the babies can eat while them two follow me around, because they're the only ones that really like the animal crackers. Give me one second. So he left them alone for a little bit. I put some more food in that trough. He's eating all these animal crackers. Dropped one. Here. Oh, you want one? No? Frodo! Frodo, want an animal cracker? Nope. He says no.
This is letting them eat. Keeps him away from them for a minute. Look at him. Look at what he did. He climbed up in there so that Sam couldn't eat. Sam had to run around to the other side. <coughs> Bilbo, one more. Bilbo. Hey, baby. Mary, you want this? Nope. Nope. Sam, you want this animal cracker? You want it? Oh, you got it? I don't think I had another one, baby. Wait, I dropped one. Sam. There you go. I don't my pocket's empty. My pockets are empty. Frodo, that is rude and hateful. Frodo. That's right. Frodo's used to getting spankings. Y'all aren't getting anything else. You just better make do. You big you babies better start You're not being sweet. Frodo, no. Look at all their heads. Stop it, Frodo. Frodo's fighting his way in. Look at him. Frodo, he don't take no mess little as he is. <laughs> Stop. I know Mary. Mary, 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 my baby. You too, my sweet man. Oh. This was all full of water yes yesterday, day before yesterday. It's slowly drying up. And I think my pa, all the, that whole, I don't remember how many, it's just like a gallon. It's like a gallon. Or maybe it's like two quarts. I don't know. The dye that we uh, put in the... It's funny that Lester was, I think, on a video or something a while back. Said something about his pond filling into my pond and making it... Uh, you know, put the dye in my pond because his pond was filtering over. But it really wasn't. I had put dye in my pond, too. And it was just funny, I thought, that we had actually gotten, we would ordered the same. I didn't even ask them what they used. I just went to Amazon and picked out one that had some different options. And I chose a color that I liked. And it was so funny that it ended up being, it, if it wasn't the same, it was close enough to the same. I hear some tin rattling on Tony's house. He's going to have to get up there and fix that. I'm not fixing it for him. I, I mow his yard. I'm not fixing his roof. He's a grown man. He's just got to go do that. I'm not doing it. I'm not getting on a roof. So I still have two white ducks missing. Like I said, I have not gone over to Lester's to see if they're over there. And I probably wouldn't even be able to tell the difference in whatever his ducks are compared to mine. I know he's got so many ducks. But it just makes no sense to me that there were no feathers. So I just really feel like they're probably over there. But I do have this duck from Lester's that came over here. I don't know who that is. I'm not over at Lester and Jamie's enough to know, to look down and say, oh, Pablo. I don't know. Black duck. But they had the one black duck in here with them that I had gotten from a lady that uh, got a duck for their daughter for like, Easter and it grew and then they just had one duck and didn't know what to do with it so I ended up with it here living with the white ones and everything was good and then one of Lester's dark ducks like that one that's out there now let's see if I can zoom in on it see it right there it was flying over here two or three times. You know, I'd see it out here. And then at some point it flew back and mine, the little black one that was here with me flew back with it. Which it don't bother me. You know, I like seeing the ducks out here. I think it's real calming. It's just relaxing to watch them. But as long as they're going back and forth and they're all happy, that's fine with me. I just don't want something to get them. Got them two chasing each other over there. 
<laughs> oh, that must be the, oh yeah, that's that little rooster. No, what's he called? Drake. Boy ducks or drakes. He's after one of those little mamas. It's cold today. And I keep sniffling. Have to take me some kind of an allergy pill, something to dry me up, dry my head up. Anyway, what? I'm over here. I'm over here. Hi, Mary. Goats eating duck feed along with the chickens and one guinea. That guinea wouldn't go in last night. I left his little butt out. I'm not gonna chase the guinea down. All the rest of them went in to their coop and he just ran up and down the fence line. So he, he stayed out last night. At some point, they won't go into that coop no more. They'll start like roosting in trees and stuff. That's what guineas usually do. Now, maybe because they were raised in that coop, I don't know. Maybe they'll always go to the coop at night, but I know almost of dad's guineas for years the different herds of flocks of guineas he's had have always roosted in the trees. Sam's trying to eat up what little bit's left over there. <laughs> Poor baby. Well, they're none of them starving. They eat twice a day and they have this, these two big fields to eat on. Hi, babies. Hi, sweet man. Wanna come see mama? Yeah. Hi, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mary, you fell. Sweetie, you fell on the swing. <sighs> Hi, baby girl. No, you're not going to eat this phone. She's come such a long way from when she almost didn't make it. Oh, my girl. I don't know if y'all all know, but she ate an earring off my ear. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go. I still got to get, uh, these are still not being posted yet. I'm still working on my YouTube page, getting it up and uh, creating my account. But I do have a bunch of videos to, to load once I uh, finally get that done. I'm hoping that by Monday, well, this is Monday. Hopefully it won't take this a whole week, just within a few days, but for sure, by the weekend or by Monday of next week. I know I said y'all were gonna start seeing it on January 1st and that didn't happen. But I've been so caught up in mom and uh, you know, during December, there's a few trips with Debbie to the hospital that mom went, got down and then Daniel finishing up his little cabin and I've been busy with him. And then just regular life, you know, Levi and home and it just gets, uh, just life gets so crazy. But I'm gonna get it done. Hi, sweet man. Hi, baby. Oh, my love. Yes. And uh, get get some stuff for y'all. So I'll see y'all, y'all. Uh, y'all, y'all. I will see y'all later. Y'all have a blessed day.